Hi guys, welcome back to Mapula Makeup. My name is Stephanie. I am excited. We're going to be talking about Juvia's Place. So I know I'm a little late on reviewing this, um, but I didn't want to look at, um, I didn't want to uh, order this foundation online just because they have, I think, 42 um, different shades. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Um, yeah, 42 colors. And I just thought, you know, it's kind of hard because they had a lot of like light options and I couldn't tell which one was mine. And then I wanted to do the concealer, but then didn't have mine. And then I went to Ulta a couple times and the first time, the first couple of weeks they didn't have it. So they obviously bring their products in store later. They obviously do it online first, but I wanted to see it in person um, before I actually bought it. And then finally I went to Ulta the other day, not looking for this, and they had it, but she was barely placing them. And they didn't really have my shade, and even then when I came back the next couple of days, they only had set up a few of them. They, it wasn't even like all 42 shades. So I had to go through all of them, and I picked the closest one that I think is mine. They didn't have any testers out because they were still like placing things and getting things in order. So I hope that I got my shade because I'm going to have to wear this all day today. Details about Juvia's Place Foundation. It offers a smooth application with natural soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage. A great formula to even out the complexion, refine skin texture, and erase blemishes. Maintaining the initial finish throughout the day. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive to oily skin. So, and this was only 20 bucks. Um, sorry guys, I didn't get the concealer for it. It's just been a whole thing with this foundation, so I'm just gonna give this one a go. Um, so, let's see. So, I heard that this is like a, like full coverage, so I'm really, really excited about that. This is a velvety matte foundation, so. I'm going to go in with my brush here. Oh, hold on. I think i got to open it and take this thing off. Cool. Okay. I think $20 for a foundation is great. Um, it just, you know, it kind of looks kind of small. But $20, bucks, not bad. Ooh, I think I put too much product on my hand, but the color doesn't seem like completely off. Oh, I didn't even prime my face. What am I doing? Okay, let's see. Rewind. I'm going to do the pore professional primer first. I want to give this um, foundation a like good opportunity here. So. And I like the professional. It smells really good. And it sets really well into my skin. Um, as you guys can tell, I did my eye look already. Just because our goal is just to uh, um, try out this foundation. And I couldn't wait any longer. I'm like, should I just order the concealer online and just wing it? Nah. I'm just going to review this foundation. Okay, we are primed. Woo, so glad I didn't forget about that. Okay, where were we? Back to the foundation. Ready, set, go. Ooh, very full coverage. Okay. I don't smell anything. I, can you guys see the difference between my raw skin and this side? Ooh, I like it. I like the amount of like full coverage. It's covering every imperfection on my face. Wow. I'm a little speechless right now. 
so I follow this YouTuber Paige Corin, and I love her so so much. And like one day, like I know it sounds like really creepy and weird, but I wish I could meet her one day. I think she's like super cool. But she tried this foundation on, and I was a little heartbroken when she said that she didn't really like it. Um, but I understand like not all foundation like works for like everyone. Everyone has like different skin types. Um, but I just hope, I know that she's going to try it again. So hopefully like it works out for her. And I know that she like bought like different foundations. I just feel bad that she's like ordering all these foundations just to like make it work. But you know. Hopefully it does because I really like this foundation. Like, look guys, actually I am like not even hating on the shade. I think I hit it spot on. I think it's been like, it's like spot on guys. Like I really like it. I can actually be pretty happy like going out without like any bronzer or anything. Just like quick foundation on the go. I did my look, let's go. Um, but we are going to add some bronzer onto my face. But you guys, um, I think I just have to like say that I love it. I love it. It is awesome. I might even pick up a di another one because I'm, <laughs> that's how much in love I am with it. Like it's a cheap price. Like I know that when I first started, um, doing my videos and stuff, I'm like still very in love with my NARS foundation. Do not get me wrong. But it's like 60 something dollars. So you know, it is a little bit on the pricier side, and I don't mind paying for pricey if it's, like, good. But this is full coverage, and it's only 20 bucks. Like, I think it's, like, a win. So, let's go ahead and apply some bronzer. It is a very... Sorry, I can't talk. A very like matte velvety. But I think what keeps me like the happiest is like it's very full coverage. Now I just have to see how this wears throughout the day. I am pretty active, so I hope this doesn't like cover my pores to the point where it breaks me out. So but it says it's for all skin types, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um how this wears on like my skin but you guys I'm like so surprised and like in love with it next I'm going to apply some highlighter I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Highlighter Palette that I reviewed on a different that I got in my glam box from Ipsy that I posted earlier. And I'm just going to go in with Tahiti, which is her right here. And just highlight my face. I cannot go out without like any highlighter. Even if it's like a very like light makeup day, I just feel like I need it. I didn't even add any concealer to my face. I'm keeping it very, very basic. I didn't bake my face. I kept it simple. Like there's no wrong answer. What do you guys think? Oh, and I am gonna add some Elf Setting Spray. Before I add my e.l.f. setting spray, I kind of want to go in with my Mannequin Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star. And then go over it with my one of the gloss. And this is like control freak, I think it is. Okay, that completes the look. What do you guys think about the foundation, the look? I personally love it. Um, like I said, I'm actually gonna go back and get a couple of these because 
I think it's like a really great foundation. So to finish this off, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Dewy Mist. And we're done. So I'm really glad that I got the right color for the most part um, because I would have had to wear this foundation all day today because I am ready to go somewhere. So uh, yeah. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and channel if you haven't already. Until next time, guys. Bye.